on today's show. You want to know what's one of the most important things you can do to tell more compelling stories? Surprise and delight. And frankly, the problem is that most of us, when we tell stories, don't include enough surprise and delight. We tell beat one, and then, and then, and then. And that's the problem why stories don't be very compelling. But on today's episode, I'm going to share with you the two words that you can start to use when you're developing your stories and your scenes in order to add more surprise and delight. And you'll see very quickly, you can make your stories go from and then and then into something much more. Compelling storytelling really is about stitching individual elements, scenes and moments together that lead us on a journey. One of the challenging things though, for most of the time when we're writing is that we start taking these moments and just stitching them together in this chronological way. Beat one and then, and then, and then. On today's episode, we're gonna learn from two of the masters at surprise and delight, the creators of South Park. Matt Stone and Trey Parker have wowed us for years by telling these amazing, incredible, and really humanic stories told through the eyes of these cartoon kids in South Park. And we're gonna learn today a little bit about how they reimagine how you tell compelling stories using just two new words in your vocabulary. Our whole South Park writer's room, one whole wall is, is one of these. And we've got it split up and into three acts. We have and different colored three markers three just up. like here too. Look at it. Yep. We have that. And I walk around with the markers like this and we'll go, okay, we do a show about this. This is like, our writer's room. Oh, okay, okay, well somewhere, okay, <laughs> this would be a funny scene if we had that's this. True. Each individual scene has to work as a kind of funny sketch. You don't want one scene that's just like, well, what, the, what was the point of that scene? We found out this really simple rule that maybe you guys have all heard before, but it took us a long time to learn it. But we can take these beats, which are basically the beats of your outline. And if the words, and then belong between those beats, you're f-ed. basically. You got, you got something pretty boring. What should happen between every beat that you've written down is either the word therefore or but, right? So, so what I'm saying is that you come up with an idea and it's like, okay, this happens, right? And then this happens. No, 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 it should be this happens and therefore this happens. But this happens, therefore this happens. And that, as soon as we are able to, and literally sometimes we'll, we'll write it out to make sure we're doing it. Uh, we'll, we'll have our beats and we'll say, okay, this happened, but then this happens and that affects this and that does to that. And right. that's why you get a show that feels like, okay, this to that, to this to that, but this, here's the complication, to that. And there's so many scripts we read from new writers and, and, and things that we see. God, I see movies. And, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you see movies that you're just watching. It's like, this happened, and then this happens, and then this happens. That's when you're in a movie, just going, what the f*** am I watching this movie yeah. for? Just <laughs> yeah. like, this happened, and then this happened, and this happened. That's not a movie, you know, that's not a story. Like Trey said, it's those, those two, but, because, therefore, that gives you the causation between each beat, and that makes that... That's a story. Yeah. As you're starting out writing your story, and this can be true stories or these could be imagined stories, the most important thing is to start by writing these individual moments. You don't need to have it all mapped out or figured out instead. Instead, we want to start with what we call the moments that matter. What are those key moments that you know you want to tell in your book or in your story? Start with those ones and don't necessarily worry about how they fit together yet. Start with those pieces first, and then it's important to use some different words in stitching them together. And then means this happens, and this happens, and this happens. Instead, you want to ask the questions, therefore. The first one is therefore. So beat one happens, therefore. So what sort of changes as a result of that one? So when beat one happens, what's the new thing that happens next? That's why the word and therefore. That kind of leads to this or causes this one. And that's the sort of surprise and delight element. It leads us to this next thing, not just is the next thing. The second thing that's important is but. And these are these things that show obstacles and challenges, the pieces that really do add that surprise and delight. So by using those things of the but side of it here, but whatever it might be, we start to show obstacles in our journey. And oftentimes as you stitch these things together, beat one happens, And then you move into the next piece of it by either going into the, therefore, this causes this next thing, or but, it was stopped from doing it. And it's a very simple thing to do. Remember, start with just those key elements, figure out how they fit together, but understand that they want to go on this journey. The logical cause, the therefore, or something that was a 
obstacle to the next step in it happening. And just by using those two words, therefore and but, you'll be able to start to see some real changes in your stories. So as you think of these things, remember, it's not beat one, beat two, beat three, but understand the logical fitting between them, the therefore and the but, and you'll be able to tell some much more compelling stories. If you enjoy this content, you want to hear more, definitely subscribe to us here. We'll continue to offer interesting things to help you never write alone on your journey to create some amazing and compelling content for your book. Thank you.